Okay, I'm going to show you how to edit a track in Audacity to add in a narration or some sound effects. Now I'm going to open a file up, let's go to File and Open. I've got two tracks here, I've got the main music and the narration track uh, which will open up into Audacity. Now it's um, quite a complicated audio track, I only want the speech parts of it. If we listen to it you'll see what I mean. You're looking out over 2,000 years of history. And so on. Okay, let's get the, the zoom tool and we'll zoom in. And we'll just use the scroll bar on along the bottom of the screen that you can't quite see just to move back to the beginning. Now here you can see on the waveform that we have the speech part. Uh, we can hear that. If we get the uh, selection tool, start at the beginning and click play. You're looking out over 2,000 years of history. Yep, that's the bit. So all I'm going to do is to use the selection tool and drag over the bits I want to use. Okay, there we are. You can see it's now selected. And then if I come up to File, I can export that selection either as a, a WAV file or if you've put in the, the Lime MP3 um, update, then you can em ex uh, export it as an MP3, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to call it a name. Let's call it um, Raymond Bath number one. And it'll ask me for an ID3 tag card. I'll just ignore it and all it is is we'll say OK. That's fine. That's it. That saved it as a whole new file. Now we can keep going through this clip and extract the uh, the bits of speech that we want. Now I'm going to keep working through this and take each individual clip out. Okay, and once you've uh, edited out all the little clips you want to do, or all the sound effects from your audio track, we're now ready to put that into our master track. So let's open up uh, the master track. We'll go to File, Open, and I called it Main Music because that made it easier for me to remember which one was the master track. Now this is the track that all of my pictures are going to uh, play to. Now onto that I want to add in the, the little clips of speech that we made earlier. So let's add that in. We'll go to Project, Import Audio, and there we go. Number one was the first one, wasn't it? And there we go. You can see that if I move these up a little bit I now have a new audio track appeared underneath. And if we go back to the beginning and play this, you're looking out over 2,000 years of history. It plays both tracks at the same time. Brilliant. Uh, except I don't want it to start there. I'd like the speech to start a little way in until we can see a little bit more detail. That's, that's better. And I'm going to just move the, uh, the new track, the little clip of speech, along the timeline. So let's change tools to the little arrows that go left and right, the time shift tool. And then we can just drag our audio clip along. And now it'll start wherever we drop it. You'll need to use the scroll bar along the bottom of the screen, which you can't quite see on this video. And I want to start it probably about 15 seconds in, or thereabouts. That should give me time to put an opening slide into my presentation before the speech kicks in. Play. You're looking out over 2,000 years of history. Perfect. OK, so that now fits in nicely. OK, let's add another clip in. Uh, we'll go to Project, Import Audio, and choose number 2. Now the, uh, the screen starts to fill up quite quickly with this, and we've only got a little limited amount of space on the... Uh, um, using the time shift tool, again I'm going to drag this a bit further along, I don't want it to all play at the same time, but I have to make sure these play in sequence, this is first and this is second. Now once again we'll zoom in so we can see what we're doing, and we'll find our clip, there it is, and this one I want to start, well, a little bit further on, this looks promising, we can see on our main track that here things start to get a little bit louder, so if we get the time shift tool we'll try and move it in there so hopefully the speech should then flow with the music. It's always a good idea to go back and check it so we'll get the selection tool and select just before our new imported bit of audio. Click play. Two thousand years ago Rome ruled the greatest empire that the world had ever known. Yep that looks okay to me. OK, let's add a, another clip in. Project Import Audio number 3. 
and we'll just slide that up so we can see what's happening. So here's our third clip. Now where are we going to put this? Well, a bit further along, obviously, than the first two. Um, this bit looks promising. Here we've got a little bit of a gap in the music where it obviously gets much, much quieter and then suddenly gets quite loud. Now I'm going to fill that bit with our, a bit of audio here, so let's just move that along. That looks pretty good. Let's play that. They came, they conquered, and they settled. Fantastic. OK, this is really working out very nicely indeed. Um, another clip, Project Import Audio number four. Now the screen really is starting to get full here, so let's move that up. OK, we'll make the ones we've already done a bit smaller. Those are, are safe and completed. OK, so let's shift this along. This is obviously a longer clip. And we're going to put that a bit further in. Um, let's zoom in so I can see the timeline a bit clearer along the top here. And we'll get the time shift tool. And slide it along. And I think I'd like this to start this about 1 minute and 50, somewhere in that area. OK, let's, uh, let's play that bit as well. Let's see how that sounds. Ah, now, you can hear that with the loud audio track, it's drowning out our, our, our narration. So we've got a couple of things we could do. We can increase the audio level of the narration by increasing the gain. But that tends to make things a little bit kind of blurry at the top end. So that helps a little bit, but I wouldn't put it past plus six. The other thing we can do is to decrease the audio level of our main track. Now we can do that in the same way, but that would affect the whole track. So I'm going to do it locally. I'm just going to decrease the volume in this section here. Let's move that along so hopefully you can see more of it. And I'll just zoom out slightly. There we are. That fits it onto our screen. And I'm going to do that by getting the selection tool and selecting our main track. I'm going inside our narration track like so. OK, so I haven't gone right to the edge. I've left a little bit either end. And now if I go to Effect and then come down to Amplify, I can change the volume, or in this case decrease it, by moving this down. I'm going to put it down to minus 6, or thereabouts. Perfect. OK, and we'll say OK to that. And as you can see, it's, um, it's now got a bit quieter. The, 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 the waveform has got much smaller. But if I left it like that, it would suddenly chop. So it would be like somebody suddenly killing the sound. And I want to do it much more gently than that. So I'm going to select just before my audio um, clip kicks in until we decrease it there. So we have a much smaller selection. And do the same thing. We'll go for Amplify. But this time, I'm only going to put minus 3. Now the idea here is that we gradually reduce the volume so it goes down in little steps rather than suddenly going down. Same at the other end as well. Effect, Amplify, minus 3, and that'll do the reverse so it, it gradually gets louder. And that should play in a little bit better. Let's, let's have a little click here, and away we go. The Roman way of life in Britain lasted for nearly 400 years. Then their empire began to collapse as invaders moved in on Rome itself from the north and the east. And darkness descended on this great religious star. Brilliant. OK, so as you, hit, you could hear the, um, the narration much clearer this time. OK, and that kind of brings us to the end of the, the audio tutorial for here. That should work nicely. The only thing left to do is to save this as one single MP3 file. And we'll go to File, Export as MP3. It's going to warn us that we're going to mix the tracks down. That's absolutely fine. And we'll call it Final Music. And away it goes. And that's now exporting that whole thing as one single MP3 track for us to use in our presentation.